I bet God luck and for Fiance met. So basically, it's a funny story. Um, we actually went to middle school together. Um, kind of ran with the, with the same crew, same uh, group of kids. Um, we didn't talk or anything like that. Um, after high school, after college, actually, um, she, her, and her friend started a nonprofit organization, and we actually kind of met up through them through social media. Um, you know, following that, um, you know, I wanted to be a part of it, kind of contribute. Um, by doing that, we became friends. Um, pretty much best friends, kind of talk all the time. Our love for the Eagles is kind of what set everything apart. Um, watching games together, talking about watching games. Uh, the, uh, the Philadelphia parade we went to. Um, I went back and forth with my proposal many times and it changed. Um, we were actually supposed to go to a wedding, my sister's wedding actually in the Dominican Republic. And I had planned this whole uh, thing of how I'm gonna propose to her. Um, there was a helicopter ride to like a private island and uh, COVID happened and then the wedding was postponed two times. So I was scrambling. Um, she loves parties. She loves her birthday. She's one of them individuals that have a birthday month. So we set up a, a big uh, a birthday party at our, at our new house. And while we were thanking the crowd for, for coming, um, I then proposed to her and kind of kind of got her good. A bunch of ugly cry and some, some snot, you know. Oh man, she's got the biggest heart. She's always willing to help. Oddly enough, her love for music. We both have like a love for music. So um, we're, we're very excited for our wedding because it's gonna go from like, hey, DeBarge to then Jeezy Super Freak. And then like, I'm just ex extremely excited <laughs> to share that with the world. So my fiance and I, we met at Penn Station in New York. The backstory to that is we both have a mutual friend that actually told me about this girl. And while I didn't really think much of it, I decided, oh, let's see what she is like. And so we decided to set up a date. And from that day, I knew not only was she the one, but that she was gonna be a lot of trouble, good trouble that is. So the way that I knew that she was the one was after we had our first date together in the city. And while we were there in the city, there are certain traits, certain characteristics, uh, certain things that I could pick up on that told me this woman is one that I could spend the rest of my life with. The way I look at it, it's, that if we are compatible in the most ways and after a couple weeks because I'm contrary to what most people think that you need months and years to know that this is the one it can actually take days maybe a few hours because the truth is once you recognize and see the things that are there it can help you know very early that this could be the one. So the interesting thing about this proposal is that I've been planning it for about uh, four to um, almost six months. And the reason for that is she's very, she's very hard to surprise because uh, she likes to get up in the business a lot. And not only is she hard to surprise, but she tend to uh, figure things out easily. And so what I did for about almost six months is that I had almost like pre-engagement, pre-trial engagement. And what, what I mean by this is, I would have so many instances and moments where she would feel as if this was going to happen right now, the proposal was gonna happen, so that she can be thrown off and confused. So I would like set up dates, make it very special. And what I did really was to have certain uh, mock trials so she can be thrown off easily. However, the final one that was the actual proposal took place at uh, Dumbo Park, Brooklyn Bridge, uh, um, and she actually figured it out. She knew it was gonna happen, and she actually did a video while getting ready saying, I know it's gonna happen today. She knew something was up, but she just couldn't figure it out, and then I just walked up, popped the question, and uh, had a few Skyline pictures. Uh, so me and my fiance, we met uh, in school. Uh, we went to Temple University. Uh, we met in uh, the Organization of African Students Club. Um, we always knew of each other, but um, I think we had an interest in 
in each other um, in secret. And one day we were able to just connect and, and things took off from there. So I knew she was the one, um, I would say, after six months of dating, being together, enjoying each other's company, um, supporting each other, loving each other, um, I think we had our first argument. And in that moment, for a second, I thought for a second, what would it be like if uh, she wasn't around? And that's when I realized I couldn't live without her, and I told her I loved her then, and we've been together ever since. So the proposal, it was a rooftop picnic proposal in the middle of the pandemic, which was interesting. Um, it was supposed to be a surprise, but of course she knew. Uh, I feel like she, she always knows. Um, but had a couple of her friends and family together. Um, it was in Dumbo, Brooklyn, in between the Manhattan Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge, looking out into lower Manhattan. It was, um, it was beautiful. What I'm looking forward to most is just having a lifetime partner to just explore life with, have fun with. Uh, build a future together, raise a family, um, and just continue living this, living this journey and going through it. My fiance and I met on this app called Coffee Meets Bagel. It was um, recommended by my cousin. Um, I was all on every dating platform and I couldn't really find anybody that would match, you know, my personality or even just, you know, just be themselves. Everybody was fake. so. You know, she had came up, I saw that she was a doctor and I was just like, wow, you know, I never dated a doctor before. So, you know, let me give that a try. And it's been history ever since. How did I know she was the one? I knew she was the one when she moved her stuff in uh, about two months after dating. Um, she moved the dog in. She went back home for probably about a week. The dog stayed and she's just been with me ever since. So how the proposal went is we went to um, a few jewelers and was just looking at rings and she actually picked one out. So I had them, you know, uh, kind of critique it to how I wanted it. And I was just, you know, going back, going back, going back. And we decided to plan a uh, trip to DR. And I had already asked her mother and her sister for a hand in marriage. Um, so she wanted to take some photos. So once we got to the resort, I let the camera guy know, hey, listen, I want to propose to my, my, my girlfriend at the time um, tomorrow when we take these photos. So we go on the beach. The photographer's like, you know, it's time to go. So I get down on my one knee. Uh, he tells her to turn around and look at the sun. And she turns around and my hand is out and she's just laughing like I was a joke. Um, but, you know, she loved it, cried, and, you know, it's been history ever since, man. What I'm looking forward to most in the marriage is just building a life together. Um, the honeymoon, having children, maybe, maybe two, um, some more dogs, and just being happy, traveling the world. Hey, when it come to you, pistol like buzz, issue with trust. Won't let no one get a piece of your love. Yeah, base it on loyalty, base it on us. I ain't the picture perfect type, but I'm making it up. You say you want a bad flip, it, I can't get enough. I'm rich at number when I'm with you, I'm rich at.